Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. Today we're talking through the two ways to share videos during your stream. Let's go. The first way to share a video is by uploading it into the brand folder. Click on brand and scroll down to the video clip section, then hit the plus sign, then choose the video from the folder. You can upload videos up to 10 minutes in length and up to 200 megabytes in size. This is perfect for sharing video clips, video countdowns, intro videos, outro videos, or just commercials. The video clips section also allows you to loop your video. This feature is awesome for holding cards, such as a video that says we will be live shortly and it can loop until you're ready to be on the show live. Make sure the file type is MP4. The second way to share videos, and if your video is longer than 10 minutes, you'll want to use this feature. Click on share at the bottom, then click video file. This allows you to share videos any length, unlimited length, unlimited size. Now these videos are played from your computer, so make sure you're plugged into ethernet for the perfect quality stream. Video shares are also great for pausing, playing, or even talking over if you're doing a commentary show with your co-host about a video. You can mute this video or turn the volume down. Video clips don't have that option. Video clips are automatically played in full screen and mute everyone who's in the studio so that no one has an echo. Video shares allow you to use any of the screen share layouts StreamYard has, like this. Now you might ask, what's the biggest difference between the two options? The biggest difference is that video clips are played from StreamYard. So you're uploading them to our servers, meaning they'll be played in perfect quality every time. Whereas video share means it's being shared from your computer and being streamed with your internet. So make sure you're plugged into ethernet for the perfect quality stream. I recommend uploading your clips to the video clips section in the brand tab whenever possible. The second difference is the file size. So if it's less than 10 minutes, you can upload it to the video clips section. Whereas if it's over 10 minutes or over 200 megabytes, you've got to use the video share feature. And the last difference is, do you want to use this video again? Whereas the video clips section, these are stored on your StreamYard account in your brand folder so that you can use them time and time again, such as a countdown timer that you'll play at every show. Video shares won't be remembered if you come into the studio again at a later time. To sum things up, the video clips section in the brand tab is perfect for videos less than 10 minutes. Intro videos, countdown timers, outro videos, short commercial breaks, if you will. Whereas the sharing videos feature is for everything else, one-time videos, super long movie premieres, any videos that you'd like to talk over or be on screen with. And that's that's it. That's all you need to know to share a video in your next live stream. Have a great show and see you in the next video.